back, flower power idiots. Just look, at, look at the flower. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, what? What? What is this? This thing is super weird, super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Real? Watch out! That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. You should be very proud of you. Try and touch it, and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plant's all like, snap, and your flesh is all like, bleh, I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. It's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself. A student at Hope's Peak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist. Although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. <laughs> By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can move on its own. It can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Alright, it sounds like that might be how someone disposes of a corpse then. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. Not that I know anything about that myself. Spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I'd better keep my distance. Cool. Very cool. Well, I uh, guess. Oh. Well, you guys ever watched Johnny Test? Are you guys big fans of Dude. Bling Bling Boy? Have I watched Giant Test? Absolutely! I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. Well, once again, nothing I found seems to, uh, seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. Turn up! There it is, the dining hall. We've been here many a times before. But this time feels all new. Yeah. One after another, everyone made their way into the dining hall. And before too long... Boing, boing, boing. Hmm. It would appear everyone has returned. Mm, but still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. I know, right? Hey, don't be sourpuss. We gotta think positive. If we're gonna make it to the volleyball finals, we need to think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still uh, feel the basketball team. That's good to know. That's like reverse positive thinking. Kinda odd. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. <laughs> can, we st can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Okay. Fuck owie first. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to be kind of Sakura's job, but anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. It all spells out Monokuma. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? Because you did. You must have noticed. The fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Stairs? Stairs, yeah! Something on all the other floors, but not on the fifth floor? Are you talking about stairs? He figured it out for himself, guys! Dude! That's unprecedented! Good job, Makoto! There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. Good. But that's the hardest <laughs> part. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Put that on a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, I'm not sure. Wait, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. Kyoko. Man, it's already nighttime? Yeah. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor we weren't... We could, that we couldn't access. The biolab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? 
just were like a cliche horror game. It'd be some kind of creature, the final boss, or tyrant, or... We're not in a horror game, though. <laughs> Either like way. That. That's good. They yeah. broke the fourth wall. They did do it. They finally did it, guys. We finally got a fourth wall break. We didn't... I'm sorry, I immediately messed that up, Lucas. It's on, it's on me. We don't need to worry about it at the moment. Tanner, what are you doing? <laughs> First class. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Wow. I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. No, how I said is right too. That's so Tanner. That's so Tanner. Also, for the folks at home, Tanner put a plastic bag over his head. That's why I said that before. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor. Well, no, strange is a massive understatement. The smell of flesh and fat. Oh, never mind. He said that. He said that, Tanner. He don't said that. What the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Every body's smell concentrated. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But, I mean, what the hell happened in that room? A moider. I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. <laughs> A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop, seriously, I'm gonna throw up. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I can think of a couple things worse than this one. <laughs> yeah? Huh? If you're thinking the same then, my theory is the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room. This, that was the tragedy that happened a year ago? Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. Oh. So that's a good name. If that's true, that would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. And I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. They're right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless. But still, how is it not one of, how is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening? That sentence fell off. <laughs> Does that mean they really did cover it up? Coco ain't gonna say nothing. Gonna talk to you guys here instead. Oh, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found them more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant. I want to hear about the chicken coop. A chicken coop. There are a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? That's right. Five. Five chickens exactly. I feel like we really need to remember that number. <laughs> I, knew... I love chickens! Go on, Lucas. I, knew, I, I just knew that was coming. Oh, okay. Let's raise them up big and fat. Then we can make fried chicken or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. Oh, oh, oh. Or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? That checks Why out. did she say that? I don't know. The door of the bio lab said raw. <gasps> I'm pretty sure that it will you. Wait a second. That would speak to it again. Check it out. What? Gonna... What? 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 Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. Serious. It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't know what he's, he's talking about. I think he about. means piranha plants from Mario. Oh! Wow. Okay. I mean, that thing Good looks job, better fit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Dude, Tanner, Lucas is a bigger gamer than we are. Mm. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. That's right, the sprinklers. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get dressed and catch a cold. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know. Yeah, I'm sure none of us have of to worry not, that. Of course because idiots never get wet. 
Uh, I think you're thinking of ducks. Man, we are <laughs> all dumb as rocks. I'm starting to worry about you, Hold hero. on a second. No, Tanner. I'm finishing my sentence. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? <laughs> Bye-bye. Yeah, we're going to find out what 10 plus 10 is in the next episode. Bye, y'all. Bye.